Say she couldn't be a foreigner. That makes sense. Nothing about this girl makes sense. For instance, the other day I was giving a talk about chemical changes. I'd given out the litmus paper to show cause and effect. And she knew the answer before you'd started. Not quite. The yes, I can see you had turned to blue, Mr. Chesterton, but perhaps she could be dealing with two inactive chemicals. I wish you could just see what the colours were because, like. But that's the whole just, point. Like, of the just be like. Yes, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? Well, I'm not being rude, but couldn't we deal with two active chemicals and get on with something else? She's a bit weird. I'm sorry. Just an idea. She means it. These simple experiments are child's play to us. You know, it's almost got to the stage where I deliberately want to trip her up. Something like that happened a couple of weeks ago. I set the class a problem with A, B, and C as the three dimensions. It's impossible unless you use D and E. D and E? Whatever for? Student problem at sex, Susan. I can't, Mr. Chesterton. You can't simply use three of the elements. Three of them? Oh, time being the fourth dimension, I suppose. And what do you want E for? What do you make the fifth dimension? Too many questions and not enough answers. These teachers are quite nice and they are concerned with this child, but she's like really weird. We have a 15 year old girl who is absolutely brilliant at some things, excruciatingly bad at others, and well, just inexplicable at the rest. There she is. See her? No, when she's 15 though. She's afraid she's being watched. Or is my imagination working overtime? Look, can we go in now? I hate to think of her alone in that...